All right, so got the camera back. Haven't really messed with the lighting. Probably should have, but ah well. What you gonna do? All right, so last time we were playing part 15, we were talking about getting some new duds. I did end up, oh God, what is happening? <laughs> uh, I did end up getting um, the cat school part one, but then I also saw that I was level 18 and I could do griffin school part two. So this is the griffin armor we were wearing, but just a little bit more beefed up. You'll notice the shoulder spikes and the the shirt the in the undershirt is now tucked in you know classy so yeah and we got new new swords to boot so hopefully that'll serve us well i uh, went ahead and um sailed to skellige for the next mission we're gonna do uh diving for pearls for that guy who can't swim or is too old to swim i can't remember it's fine and praying that i remember all the buttons since i've been playing nothing but assassin's creed origin this week <sighs> Good you here. So, what'll it be? Will you help old Nardus find a black pearl for his wife? I'd like it done already. Give me that he's unkind to my bones. They've started creaking. Yeah, see, he's got old bones. What are you gonna do? Let's go. But get ready for them to creak some more. Not likely to find pearls where it's dry. True. But I survived worse during the war. Oh, wait, is he gonna go somewhere with we them? fought waist deep in the swamp and... Ah... I feel like we get attacked on the way and they can't swim. I just remember us doing it for them. Pearl grounds out far now. <laughs> All right, let's rock. This is definitely harpy territory, so I assume that's what we're probably going to get attacked by. Quite the spring in your step for a man your age. What do you uh, wear? Have you seen me in my prime? Thirty miles a day, I did in full dress. Thirty miles a day, Jesus. This is the place. They say dive down here and you'll see the oyster beds all around. Problem is, not all hold pearls. Mm, everyone I find is going to hold a pearl when you break it but down. search long there. enough and you're sure to find one. Ah, so I'm supposed to do the diving. Yeah. Well, you see, mm, I've been in the infantry all my life, so I'm not one <coughs> for water. And my lungs ain't what they used to be, so, uh, yeah. Come on, man, you knew <laughs> I Customers thought you were always right. right. All right, so he didn't even get injured. He's just like, yeah, come on. Come on, guy. Okay. Okay. What is dive? Where is dive? In Origins, dive is circle. And squares move faster. Oh. We do got some harpies. Swimming around. Do I got my... Yeah, I do. Honestly, I should probably have... Uh, all right, hold on a second. This is getting a little hairy. Okay, let's drink a killer whale before we keep going here. That way we can swim a little faster and breathe a little bit longer. Uh-uh. You want, you can dive and get one-shotted. Here she comes. Oh, come on. There. Oh. <laughs> That was awesome. I shot this way, the bullet went that way. That's some fucking bullet bending gun kind of shit that you won't see anywhere else unless somebody else gets lucky and does the same thing. What is that over there? I look at it, it disappears. Oh, I think that's a humpback. Oh, it's so rare to see these. That is cool. I've never, I don't know if I've ever actually seen a humpback underwater. I always see them flipping their fins, like, above the water, and then, like, by the time I try to go see one, they disappear, so I didn't even know if they modeled underwater. That is, and he, he, I got close enough for him to activate. Yeah, he flips his fin up, and then probably dives and disappears, maybe. Ah, uh, so cool. Yeah, and then he's gone. So I'm guessing that's why I never see them, because by the time I dive in the water, they're they're no longer there. Okay. Should have been using my Witcher senses. I think I swam out too far. Well, I got excited by the whale. I mean, who wouldn't? I literally just had the thought again I should have took a picture while I'm recording a stream. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Story crucial items. I imagine these are all the pearls I need to to get. Man, I 
gonna get a better uh, version of Killer Whale, even with it, you know, the effect on. I feel like my breath is going down way too fast. Okay. Well, that was quick. I, I don't even get to search the other ones? No? Alright. Oh, I come back and they're attacking him. I knew he got attacked somehow. Is there a way to swim faster? Is it just holding X? It might be. You would say, don't you know this? This is part 16. And I would say, I keep forgetting because I play other video games. I've been playing a lot during the uh, downtime during the pandemic. And I played a lot before, so a ton now. But, uh, you know, what else are you gonna do? Oh, yeah, no, you got attacked by drowners. Alright, let's see if we can save him. Oh! Yeah, hey, there we go. Ah, come here, come here, come here. Oh, that would have been cool. You got the last hit. Congratulations, sir. All right, I got your pearl. Don't walk away. Damn it! Splashing must have attracted them. You all right? Nicked in a few places, but if I pull through after sod, I'll survive this too. So, any luck? You Black know pearl, it. just like you wanted. Beautiful, rare, like my letter. Well, as Constable Natalis would say, you've earned a medal, or better yet, a week's leave in a brothel. Coin will be fine. Yeah, yeah, oh, take yes, that money. Um, <clears throat> about that. Uh, listen, I, I feel right foolish, but, well, I, I didn't bring any coin with you me. You didn't go swimming with me, and then you didn't bring any money with you. Wise. <laughs> Wise. Wasn't it? Even the high roads are dangerous now. Not what they once were. We'll meet in Novigrad. I'll pay you to the last copper. Put soldiers on it. He will. We will indeed do that, but that means we have to travel all the way back to Novigrad, which is the worst. I thought I'd be sticking around Novigrad for, or, or Novigrad, and Skellige for a bit. Of course. I got really lucky there, like I almost, uh, just like I, I think I did last week when I first started fighting. I almost use Origins controls. Um, light attack and heavy attack are mapped to... Oh, can I make this? I bet I can. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Roach. You can do it. Okay. No, I'm too close to even get it to try. Alright. I'm gonna try, though. We're jumping this. We're jumping this, Roach. You hear me? Don't you throw me off. Don't you do it. Come on. Oh, come on. You su we could have made that if you weren't so scared. Fine. I'll just... I'll swim around then. Thanks, horse. I actually got the urge to climb up that wall like I can. Yeah, the button... The attack and... Light attack and heavy attack are mapped to R1 and R2, which... Would be very awkward if I tried to use that. Horse, let's go. Yeah. I think I talked about this last week, but a lot of things in that game are a little bit more janky, but also a lot more convenient. You know, it's definitely less realistic in animation and how things behave, but everything moves and responds pretty quickly. Like. You get in that boat, you go as fast as a speedboat. And girl goes girls goes fairly fast. Right. I mean this is crazy fast. Alright, let's see if I can get back up here. Right. Come on, girl. Come on, hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour, get up there. Oh, he can't jump while he's in combat. Of course. Great. Yeah. 
There we go, instant kill into the water. Look at that. Come on down. I don't think she's interested. I think she just wants to fuck with my horse. I mean, which is a mistake. Roach is immortal. My magic teleporting horse that can never die. Oh my god, please just... Okay. I'm not getting back over there because I can't jump. We're just going to back away until I leave combat animation here. Try to get my horse to teleport with me. Come on, Roach. There you go. Where you at? And it followed us. Man, she really wants a piece of... I just punched me. <laughs> and just bow. And you know what? It was sort of effective. Damn right it was. Yeah, Let's this game go. will make you feel pretty foolish if you uh, forget to pull your sword out. Or you use steel on monsters. I mean, it, it automatically pulls out the right sword, luckily. I, I think that's an option you can turn off, though, if you want. Um, but even so, man, the game does not shy away from asking you to do crap like that occasionally. Like, fist fight monsters. We'll get into that later, probably. Okay. Where's the nearest fast travel point? Noice! We're going right to it, because we still have an active mission. Our active mission is in Novagrass. That's wanting us to teleport out of here. There you go, Twitter. You cannot pet the dog in Witcher 3. Which sucks. You should always be able to pet the dog. Uh, let's see. World map. There we go. He wants us to meet him not far from Hierarch Square. That works. But finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novograd's underworld bosses, I, I disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, oh my a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. I got With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to honest, free me. Good thing, too. I mean, I think a lot Indeed, of people are Indeed, I knew what had happened to Sarah. having a hard time right Sadly, now. Sadly, she was no longer in Novograd. I don't Sued know. By bandits, then I, uh, by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared. Need to get back in the habit of doing things like a regular person, Where but... To? This, just I been overeating know. and laying around and just being like, Bleh. I gained like five pounds, so. And I haven't cut my hair since this whole thing started, which doesn't grow very fast, but it just looks weird. That's why, I mean, I've balded so much. My hairline's pretty much in the middle of my head now that it just only looks good if I do shave it down. So that's what I'll typically, that's probably what I'll do here pretty soon. Symbolically to get my uh, myself back in order. And just need to start exercising more at home. I just can't go outside to do a lot of things. And it's too cold to just go outside and walk around at the park or try to run. So here I am. It got warm for a hot second, though. Those who live in Indiana will understand. Um, um, or f who are from Indiana. But uh, you really you can't depend on warm weather until probably late May. It may be June. <laughs> Um, it seems like, because you'll get warm days, and you're like, oh, that's nice, and then it just goes right back to cold. It teases you. So you can't, it's hard to plan things, you can't really know, like, when's it going to be sunny, when's it going to start raining, when's it going to be snowing, when's it going to be hot, cold, because it's all going to be in the same fucking week. So, that'll also depress you, so. But yeah, I'm going to... Get back in the swing of things. Just get back on a routine. I think that will help. And what I'm going to do is get this money. And I keep teasing that I'm going to do an extra stream. Uh, and I really want to, but... I don't know. I, this one isn't really taking off. I didn't expect it to. At least not in the beginning. Uh, but it seems I've gotten worse. Like, no one shows up now. I, so. I at least had a no. couple of friends that would show up occasionally. I mean, I'm not trying to guild anybody. Everybody, you know, should do what they want with their own time. And the whole original point was just to have fun and try it out. 
show. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really seem like, like a smart idea to start a second show when the it's, first show isn't being watched. Uh, a bit more complicated. But still, it would give me a bit variety See, when it comes uh, to streaming. I also should be more intentional about like something, uploading all the past episodes. I have been saved on my computer except for the very first with episode. Memory, she'd forget things, then. I lost and that because Twitch, Twitch erases them pretty quickly. Um, but I can uh, upload the rest of them at least to, to YouTube, and that would be something. She saw the pearl, something um, inside her. I wouldn't really have to do a whole lot of editing if Talk I don't want to, because I definitely don't have time to do that. Promising. But I could at least it upload them. It was our them. joke, just ours for years, but. Oh, sorry. Black Pearl didn't work. Can I have it back then, or? Farewell, Geralt. Gods guide you the path. I don't know what she didn't see in you, man. You refused to die for your own pearls, and you uh, tried to stiff me on my, my money. And I had to travel a whole continent away to get it again. You seem like a down-to-earth chap. Is the Please inn open? open? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I hate this bar. The inn's never open. Okay. Let's see where we're at with quests. Main thing I put on today's agenda was we were going to be sad questing. So we have some level 14s. I think that's where it's at. Um, let's let's uh, get into the cabaret mission with Dandelion. See what he's up to. Uh, Erg. Uh, that's it, Roach. You can't... You can't do that here. Oh my goodness. Alright. There we go. Excuse me, trumpet, sorry. <laughs> That's another thing too. At least you kinda of push people to the side and Assassin's Creed Origins, you just plow people down. Like it's bad. I mean I try not to. I remember when I first started playing that game, I'm like, oh my goodness. Like even the guy I was following was plowing people down. I think I was on an auto run. Where the horse just kind of finds its own, its own path. The horse is evil. Sleep, sleep, sleep. And uh, level up again. That's cool. It's life. Sometimes it's painful. How's it going? What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Call me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. <laughs> Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster in oh, this place. Oh, so we gotta help him set that up. I see. Just one hitch. I need coin. So. If you happen to get a break between drowners and ekema jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Alright, can I just lend you the coin? Get a loan? Why don't you just get a loan? Maybe the Vivaldis would give you a loan. I'd vouch for you. Funny you mention that. I went to see Vivaldi. You know what he said? Witchers are no good as guarantors. The risk of premature death is way too high. True story. But I but did you tell him idea. that I'm the MC, so I can't die? I dated technically? this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. Mm. We can borrow the coin from her. Sophronia rings a bell. Probably one of them ladies I chased after during the previous side quest Tell to me find what him. You want. Got a main quest. Give a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting, but with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me, and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. This just got weird. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Right, I'm gonna stop by this chest because I don't remember if I dropped off that uh, School of the Cat armor that I built in between episodes. 
No, I didn't. Here's the feline sword. The uh, the baby base one, level 17. As you can see, not as strong as the swords I currently have equipped, which are the enhanced versions of the Griffin steel. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and put these two in there. It looks like I actually did already drop my uh, my feline armor. There's that. Now this is light armor, so it's actually sleeveless in the first iteration. Uh, it's got kind of a cool color scheme and design to it. Neat thing is though, uh, with the blood and wine DLC, you can change the colors of all your clothes. What's he schemed up this time? What is he schemed up this time? Let's go get a sex doll or whatever it is he wanted. No loitering, man here. No loitering. Oh, it's a prop sword. I thought he wanted a. Okay, never mind. I don't know why I thought he wanted a mannequin. I remember this quest. It's pretty dumb, but in a fun way. Uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm following the dots, man. It's telling me to go to weird places. I don't, I'm not quite sure. Okay, I'll just go through here. What? Ah, sorry. <laughs> I just thought of something fun to say, IRL, when you bump into somebody on accident, you just go, sorry, I was looking at the map. Uh, you and Dudu know each other well? I'm not gonna get into that. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. Mine. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. The dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Oh, dear. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Wouldn't a cabaret kind of compete with her? And what she's got going on here? Or do I not know what cabaret means? Either thing could be true, I don't know. Is this? Yeah, that opens. Oh, excuse me, hardcore parkour. Alright. This way. Got your sword, now I'll meet you outside of that lady's house. I should give the sword to that kid after we're done. He would have fun with it. I mean, if it was mine, I did borrow it. You should return what you borrow. Ugh. Oh. 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 Ah. Just bump it in, everybody. Oh. Whoops. Okay, ah. here's her house right here. Uh, after dusk. All right, time to meditate. Dusk, I would say that's dusk. See if it works. Alright, Danny Line, where you at? Yeah? Yeah, okay. I'll do uh Geralt a solid and I'll meditate out of the rain. Okay, how about nine o'clock? Does that work? Yeah, there we go. Finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Sure. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. I'm a, you know what? I'm gonna be supportive. This can actually work. Written your lines already. You've written what? <laughs> so you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But yep, no time. Sophronia's the mask coming. On. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Hmm. Uh, read from the card. Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. <laughs> um, 
bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis How'd she recognize him? Though the scum oh, of the close. city call me the Crimson Avenger. But why wouldn't she recognize me? I know I've met her. Read more like the Crimson Asshole. No, <laughs> not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Go on, Dandelion! On guard! I mean, Crimson uh, Avenger! Uh, you're better than I thought. I just don't want you to hit me with a sword. Is that so wrong? Alright, fine. Just hit me. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Wait, are you using a prop sword? I hope so. The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair. Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I literally I did not swing at him. You up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! Wow, she ate that up. Hey! Level 19. Let's see what we can uh, what we can do. Alright, so we got acquired tolerance, increase my toxicity, heightened tolerance. Alright, so I can increase. 75 to 85. Just my potion or Okay. Either one of these is fine. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this one then because I think it'll increase more than just by five. Because I have a lot of uh, recipe. I'll discover a new recipe. And that will be, yeah, level 1, 2, or 3 alchemy, form alchem alchemy formulae. And you just have to know them. You don't have necessarily have to make them, so that's cool. Okay. Back to the, uh... Back to the hotel. Or the cabaret, in this case. I wonder if I can stop in this bar and buy some alcohol real quick before we head over. I keep thinking he doesn't have any. But it's worth a shot. Please tell me you have some good alcohol. What are you serving today? Oh yeah, there we go. We need these. Mandrake cordial. I'll take that. I already have seven though. I think it's the uh, the cherry cordial that I need. See you later. More of, so I can make white galls and start making these uh, level three alchemy formulas. Hello, Roach. Excuse me, Horson Henchman. Go. Why do you even still exist? I killed Horson. Uh, a couple episodes, like the first three or so episodes of uh, this new anime on Netflix called Crimson... Crim no, no, Cannon Busters. Uh, it's pretty good. It's it's by one of the writers and animators of Boondocks, uh, but it's all anime. I even think maybe the original language was Japanese. Um, and it is... It, it reminds me a little bit of... Uh, Cowboy Bebop, but maybe not as serious and, and uh, not as layered with good music. Um, or just like a anime western. So think Wild Guns, think... Uh, um, what's that one with Vash the Stampede? I can't remember that one. Trigun, I think? I don't know. Uh, so far it's actually pretty good. I'm enjoying it. On top of me. In the morning. Okay. Looks like I gotta meditate again. There should just be a prompt on that to do that. I don't know why I gotta do it. 
Dang, it's already been 30 minutes? Time passes by real fast when you're having fun. It's crazy. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. Way too we early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely yeah, yeah. director gets around like. to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See, it's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Uh, what are our choices? Hmm. What are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrive. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. Mm. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea I'm gonna start a counter how often I touch my nose. Yeah. You know allergies or something today. Say itchy. something. Uh, cabaret theaters of a kind. Oh, cabaret is a theater of a kind. The decor should be theatrical. Boudoir. Danny Line is doing this for you. You decide. Yeah, you don't need no man. You decide. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. I associate boudoirs with a feminine elegance that also has an edge. Claws, you might say. Yeah. That Blue, fits a cabaret Blue perfect. Boucher, a wonderful choice it is. Or whatever. At last. Gentlemen, Blue you're Blue done with all the gagging. Get are. to work. Frenchy French French. Okay. Well, well. I guess this cabaret is the real thing. Ever since Wasn't Dandelion like inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. That all the girls were super I just never expected him to take action. At least I, I think so it does. And so quickly. I think I'm burlesque. I think my school figures are going. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Yep. Okay. Oh, that'll be nice. True enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You need it? Mock. Yep. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's I never missed like a I her answer to she I sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Alright, Cabaret Part 2. Find Dandelion. Again. Come on now. God damn, it's been raining in Novograd for a while, it feels like. Oh. Pain Giver. Oh, it's actually a pretty good nickname. This is the Pain Giver. Watch out for the fire. I'll be Pain Gitter. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think I remember this. Okay. I'm just gonna take that. I'm gonna take that too. the ruckus about Polly and her half-brained fiance they're fighting she's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography and that lummox won't let her work for me and I wonder why oh, oh. maybe because you try to nail on. everything walking what are you doing here we were gonna meet at the Rosemary we were but you didn't show Priscilla started to worry so I came to see how you were doing Priscilla started worrying about me that's, That's so, so nice. Bad. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Mm. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? That's no a very idea. 
nice Stand guy back. thing to say. I'll break the door down. Wait, do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. Fine, let's find the key. Like, I won't disagree find that anything? I've met a lot of women in my life that were with guys that I felt like didn't treat them very nice. Um, Not here. But also a lot of them that were with guys that did. Um, and I think the main thing is... Is uh, the key. Everybody does that. Everybody gets with somebody that's not right for them for different reasons. Either because the person's really attractive or because they tick eight out of ten boxes and those last two boxes are more crucial than they thought. You know, a lot of different reasons. But I'm not going to hold that against them. anybody holding that against a woman is just salty because she didn't choose them. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it. And leave the woman alone. What the? She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa! Ooh. Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely. So please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. Or yeah, you don't want me punching you. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. Erudite. Said that? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt. But its open saltiness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Will you just hurry up and say what you need to say? Let him oh. finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail Jesus on Jesus Christ, just say she's a choreographer. There is the old publicity placard. Old? Very from a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say coin? coin? Yeah, that's all you and need. fame. You have me on money. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose in that case. I knew you'd agree. It's oh, settled see, then. Everybody's happy. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. See you at the Polly, Rosemary. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. Do they legit never have umbrellas in medieval time medieval times? I need to Google that. I just thought about that. I've never seen a movie from faux medieval whatever, real or fantasy, where people were using umbrellas. It would have been quicker if you just let me. Uh yeah. You handled it well, Dandelion. Manless body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. All right, I guess I'll go I'll see Rotlex. Be Aaron I'll Boy back for to those the Rosemary. The Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, I'm worth 40 minutes in it. and I barely fought. Where this, he lives. this needs to end soon. Portside. There's a See really good soon. mission involving him and, uh... And? What's her name no. again? Priscilla. Priscilla. Yeah, really good mission. We're fun and fantasy meet. There's a really good mission with uh, him and Priscilla. Whoa! I'm assuming after this cabaret gets going that I kind of want to do because it's, it's neat. It's a good story. Uh, or at least it's interesting. But, uh, 
some of this stuff that I gotta do, just run around going, hey, can you give me this thing? No, not until you do this thing I want you to do. Okay, now will you give it to me? Here it is. And then you bring it back to the other person and they go, now I just need 64 more things. Cool. Why don't you get them? Oh yeah, because I'm the MC. Immortal and forever everybody's errand boy. Bandits, we're not gonna give it to you. You gotta kill us. <laughs> Where have we seen this scene before? Maybe in perhaps doing the card quest. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcass is pit clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. Uh, I just want some placards. Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You deaf. Didn't you hear me? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. Well, I really tried to work this out <sighs> where you didn't have to die. Resolve this peacefully. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to guide them upstairs. Fighting two at a time. You know how it is. Ugh. Oh, I can't eat. I don't want to get beat up by these low-level bandits. Come on, just come up here. One of you. One of you two's guys. You God damn it. Oh, fuck off. What? Oh. Nerve. Woo! Okay, okay, we're good. We only have a sliver of life left, but there's only one guy. Makes it a lot easier. There we go. That would have been embarrassing. Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. Placards, I literally there just said a that. Placards here. And Rodlick. Where's he? Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate. Losing his last crowns at the races. I'll give you the placards, See, but you have to beat me in a horse race. Could have said so right away. Is probably what's going to happen. Oh, uh, is there anything to take? Yeah, there's a couple things. You guys won't mind if I go ahead and lose the place since, you know, I've already beat you up and whatnot. It's fine. I'm... You, you're lucky you didn't draw your swords because that would have ended very badly for you. And I would have been allowed to replenish my health. Uh, which I apparently cannot do in a fist fight. Do I need to... Oh, yeah, it's probably already healthy. Oh well. Occasionally it's just good to have a piece of candy. Sometimes you get good stuff if you loot while you're in a quest. And you're at a place the quest takes you. So far... I've seen some... Emerald dust, that's expensive. I can sell it for whatever, but for the most part, no. That, nothing really great. Okay. Let's get to the Vagal Buds. That's going to require us to fast travel for sure, because they're far away. Uh, let's see. Right, the fastest way is probably to head back to Hierarch. Go, go. Raw, raw. Ride, Roach, ride. Wants me to go this way. Okay. Okay, now it wants me to go this way. Ugh. This, uh, pathing for quests and markers is not great. Is. Look at burning no. books. Come on now. Okay. Alright, and there's the Fagel Bud residence. Got it. 
honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. These are the traditional chivalric values. As the old saying goes, tradition is sacred in Toussaint. Toussaint is like the faux French place where uh, blood and wine takes place. Its color palette is just exploding, like compared to every every other place you go to in The Witcher. Uh, looks almost more fairy tale. I can feel it feels closer to Shrek. Uh, I mean, still crazy monsters, this, that, and the other, and a gruesome storyline. But everything else is kind of tinged with a hint of like Snow White, Seven Doors, Sleeping Beauty, uh, you name it. This way. Oh wait, wait. We'll Supposed to be a half one. This guy is Rodlick. You Rodlick? Are you Rodlick? Artist, painter, debtor, oh. martyr to my art. <gasps> At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Has he been crying? Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. There's a group of angry creditors has seized my home. I think I might run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. Hmm. What's there to worry What's about? What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to de Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Ah, that's a weird thing to ask. I'll win the race for you. You know what? It's not worth it to race right now. I'm just going to pay it. I usually don't do this, but I do not want to race. Let me pay off your debt. Horse no racing in this game attached. is just... Yeah. Thank you. Plus it's faster. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. See you. Oh. 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 I'm gonna go back to the Rosemary in time. Missed opportunity to call it salt and pepper. Bailiff's a harsh man. Best not cause any trouble here. There we go. Gate of the Hierarch. Can't see it on stream, but my basement is a mess. I really gotta clean up. Just Coke cans, chip bag, a bowl, a blanket. My son's toys are everywhere because he's been hanging out with me. We recently got a bidet. Um, just figured if there's like the paper toilet paper shortage gets worse, it'd be an easy way to circumvent that. Plus, it just seems cleaner. I think a lot of people think Americans are gross because we just rub dry tissue paper on our gross butt after. Well, well. Doing the so number the two. Been hard at work. Not bad. Water does help. I gotta no, tell you though, installing no, that thing was tough. Not all. Really tough. But Especially since I don't have any more. channel locks. I had to borrow you know, them from somebody else. Theatrical. Don't you like it? And borrowing things are I weird. It's like right some kind of awkward drug taste. deal. They leave shit on your porch. Oh, you run you out. Chose it. Spray it down well, with Lysol. I'm not saying wait. it's bad. Just different. Not exactly what I'd envisaged. You know, now that I think about it, you're absolutely Yeah, I may or may not have sprayed water all over my bathroom for a cabaret. while installing What about Rotlick? Because I Did tested it and guards? didn't have the pipe in it. said he'd bring them on his own. Fair enough. Should be here soon. Great. Uh, I think the my wife almost died from laughter when that million. happened, so that was cool. Guess everything's ready. And then she got to use it first, so and I stood by the door waiting for so her to scream, and she did. Start our dress rehearsal in an hour. The cold water surprised her, I knew it would. But I'm glad we have it uh, installed. We, have, we actually got two of them, so we can install them in two of our... Don't mention Two it. of our commodes. Of the three that we have. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Uh, yeah, let's drink. 
Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... she say anything about me? Uh... Yeah, she said you're fat and you smell. Uh-huh. She said you've gained some weight. And that you should bathe more often. <laughs> Very funny, Geralt. Shove it. Well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Dandelion living in monogamy. I've always been monogamous. Well, near enough. I just changed muses often. Yeah. Priscilla, another one, one for your next. collection? No, she's its crowning glory. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Yeah, you I'm looking really confused right now because of the message that just popped up. Hello at MC Paperstacks. I want to become your manager. I have an account on Twitch Viewer. Dot com. Uh, She's late, I mean, she knew if, how important this night if, was to me. Of course she did. Doesn't cost me any gorgeous. money because I ain't making money off this shit. So it's true. Oh, oh, vanity knows no bounds. Master Dandelion, Priscilla, she's. What? I should talk to other Speak, Twitch man. fingers and see if they get weird she's stuff badly, like that uh, pop up. Been attacked. They, they took her to Valmerius Hospital. Attacked. Oh, there it is. She's yep. This is the mission I was talking about. Geralt, come with me, please. Priscilla got a tank. Let's we have go. To check her out. See what happened. And then you're just gonna teleport us straight to the doctors, which is that place where the doctor lives is pitiful. Oh my god. I mean, as you would imagine, like a doctor's office in uh, medieval times would be, I suppose. Priscilla, is she going to live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but Ooh, she you got are up. a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Yeah, poor acid down her throat. Her to imbibe a caustic fluid. That's sick. Uh, so this wasn't an ordinary attack. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. That's right, serial killer, y'all. You know I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? Yeah, it's In fact, up. just this week, a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no and heart. And no heart. She got no lucky. Heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt. Message. I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Oh, I will. Find Don't you worry. And kill him. I might have to do that, Don't too. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. Right, head to the morgue. to be autopsied. Doing so... Could Which surprisingly is much nicer tools. than I thought a medieval morgue would be. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, no, I'm not talking about this room. This room is fine. Medicine. I'm talking about when I have to leave this Rather doctor's office. Wait for this maniac There's just sick people again, laying all over the floor everywhere. I prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Okay. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. Oh, the sewers. why is everybody always sending me to the sewers? Travel them often, doctor? As often as required for, uh... The pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. 
Mm -hmm. Got some weird marks Ready on the back of his neck. I haven't noticed before. I'll get whoever did this dandelion, even if it's Hierarch Himmelfart himself. Yeah, even Thanks. if it's Himmelfart. That's a name. Now I know why I call it, they call it uh, Herak Square and other places. Because apparently it was a founder. I don't know. I got a painting of him, don't I? I don't know much about him. He wasn't mentioned a ton in the books as far I mean, again, I haven't read every book, so. No, a whole lot about full test. So, and, uh, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. You should not hear that. And hearing it for a while, draw your weapon. Let's rock. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Got cocky. I'm gonna try to use my thunder move. I wonder if I have Whirl. I don't remember if I bought it or not. Oh, I don't think I do. With Whirl, you'd hold down the fast attack button and then just start spinning and swinging your sword, which is kind of cool. I think it also uses stamina, just like Sun uh, Rend or Sunder, whatever it's called, does. Uh, that took way too long. Let's get some uh, Necrophage oil on the sword, shall we? That way we can... Uh, End it slightly faster. Always gotta remember which one's necrophage. There it is, the red one. Okay. Eat a piece of candy. Let's go. Did you just say, oh, water hag? Yeah. That's a bit above your pay grade, Doc. Glad I put that oil on. Ah, shit. Yeah, there it is. That crit damage. That dinner end. Oof, you good? Yeah, load that shit up, man. Oh, what are you shooting at? Oh, I see. Oh yeah, I have magic. I should probably use it, huh? <laughs> Ursula, how's it look? Give it to me straight, no sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that yeah, Surely being a troubadour. What a terrible blow that would be to a troubadour. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Is that the female version of a troubadour? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Yeah, that really sucks. Somebody uses something that involves dexterity or talent, part of their body for their living. You know, their hands, their voice, expressiveness runner runs that type of thing and then that very thing that enables them to do the thing that helps them pursue their take the ladder passions is taken away i can't think of anything worse you pretty much have to the quicker we start over this reinvent matter. your life Why? at that Got point to be. someone might disturb us the coroner for example or reverend nathaniel pastodi very well we pastode. seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver okay hold on let me uh take all this stuff, man, come on. I'm a compulsive picker-upper of stuff. Okay, I'm assuming we don't want to go through here. All right, dude, just chill. I got it. All right. Why is there so much stuff here? It's like somebody's house. Okay. Let's examine this body here. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Oh, okay. Let's keep looking. What we got here? Human. Wrong body type. Okay. Gotta find the victim of the serial killer. Uh, what about... Did we go... We can go through here, right? Should we? Can we? We can. Yep. Tons of stuff to loot. I know I should... Not waste this much time looting, but come on, man. I just gave that guy like 200 coins. I gotta recruit that somehow. Here we go, more bodies. Ooh, and I got glyphs. 
That's good. This isn't it. Let's keep looking. Not it. Didn't he say it was a dwarf? I think that's what he said. So it wouldn't be this one either. I managed to successfully go to every place the uh, body is not. Human. Wrong body type. Which is actually what you want to do when you're trying to loot the room in an RPG. I told a friend of mine one time that when it came to like dungeon questing, um, I figured an American developer would probably put their path to the right, and if you've noticed, we've been going left. Um, and Japanese developers end up putting their their true path or their path forward or progress to the left, so I always sweep right. And it serves me pretty well. Uh, if we sweep all the way to the left, I guarantee you the body that we need is probably that one right there. Uh, and again, it like and again American Western, I guess. That's got anybody be that him. reads this basically left to right. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Let's keep looking. A dwarf, but so you want to follow that and then the right to left. I probably Bankers said that wrong. But you can get what I'm trying to say. The point is, you kind of get a feel for what, uh, so, yeah, that's definitely the guy. It's the last guy we need to examine. Alright. And, anything good? A book. And some food. Alright. Let's examine this body already. It's time for Witcher 3 CSI. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Was he a woodcutter? I trust you don't grow said. weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Oh, Not dude, a bit. You only knew. Start the autopsy. I like his little Where? lantern with the candle in it. That's cool. It's also a neat trick how they're animating it. It's not 3D, it looks like. It looks like a JPEG or something. All right, let's, uh, let's go straight to the genitals. Actually, let's save those for last. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance. When he put hot coals in his eyes. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems, very fine. He was tortured. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. That sucks. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Oh, God. Ah. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. I mean, Just the acid like went through the, uh, the mouth. Just See funny, because they cut the larynx when they just insert the, the acid there. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. Well, A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. But why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Huh. Alright, look at the torso. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage. And a scar the length of his stomach. So the heart was removed. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Hey, get up in there, Doc. Oh yeah, the sounds. They're gross. I saw somebody doing foley for sounds like this one time. A lot of people just squeeze fruit to get that sound. Egg from an amphibian. Interesting tidbit. Salamander. Salamander egg. Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in her Weird calling card. As a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Oh, old. Wounds long and thin, an incision, mm. but the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Mm. All right. Open the abdominal cavity. 
A due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a Zugal up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Huh. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay. And why the throat is forcing them to drink formaldehyde. Gross. Alright, let's examine something else. Look at the hands. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? I mean, he, he would have to be tied up if he was alive. I'd expect so. Out his eyes. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Yeah. Speaking from experience. I mean, come on, dude. Yes, that's a victim. Sense. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. Some other time, maybe. This guy's just interesting. See the callus, book. Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Mm. All right, legs. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankles swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard right before he kicked the bucket. Yeah! Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. <laughs> we surgeons, right before he kicked the bucket. Different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. That's literally what he just said. Okay. Uh, let's look at his nuts. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. No stones on his trousers. Giggity. Shit. <laughs> Syphilis, actually. Early stages. <laughs> no sign of diffusion. <laughs> Think there could be a connection. Yes, Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. All right. Think I know enough. Who has access Enlighten to formaldehyde? Me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. One would guess it's the doctor himself, but the way he's acted coming along with me, risking his life, this and that and the other, I doubt it's him. This is a ritual murder. murder. This is punishment. No motive. Murder's mad. Rather not share my... Why not? Um, I would say it's a ritual, for it's sure. It's some kind of sick ritual. I mean, this, the salamander egg. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets. Cavity where the heart should be. Scalding liquid. All centering on warmth. Heat. Fire. A fire eternal. Oh. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. Oops. I've come to perform Busted. the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirance was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in Could under be this any guy. circumstances. He's a worshipper of the eternal you fire, did, clearly. But they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. The front door this time? Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Hmm. Could have told me you know the coroner. So who is he? Nathaniel. Who is he? A scoundrel. A rogue. Like every man who wears the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. Delighted especially in torturing women. 
Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the isle, and so forth. Mm. Well, if it's the motive Dream for job. attacking Priscilla, but not that woodcutter. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Well, I think you need to say more than that. I decide when we're done with the subject. What's your connection to him? An old story. But if you insist... The student protests in 1242, you've heard of them? I led them. Hubert, however, denounced me to the authorities. I landed in prison. There you have it. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers so crossed. So when and he I'll was in college, they let a, was it when he was teaching or when he was actually attending? Because that means that other dude is a lot older than he looks. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's just go on by foot. We're pretty close. Excuse me, sir. Well, you know. MC, what are you going to do? actually make this quest active yet. And I was like, where's it taking me? Uh, let's see. Carnal Sins. This is the one. Okay. Find Eustace first. He can give us some good info. I assume. Jump here, replenish my stamina, keep running. Can't believe they ever patched that out. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a trick, but it does help you continuously run. Strange. Save for the jump. Ooh, lots of people died. You, Eustace, the corpse collector. Collecting corpses. Busy time. Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I Took remember. His ring. <laughs> no ice, no ice. Uh, one of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. Yeah, it had a ring, though. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. As dirty as you are, I'm going to let that slide. You rob corpses. Oh, yeah. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Okay. Well, let's get on my trip. What did you find on him? I, oh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glow speeded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I wipe off the right inner cell, it is new. That's yeah, human skin. Ew. Priscilla. Next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. Let's punch him. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Oh my god, this guy's a cunt. Yeah, take that. Oi, fucking hell. What was that for? For everything. <laughs> He's like just laid back down. Oh man, I imagine he probably hits pretty hard. He said, Oi, what was that for? Why do I see it all the time? Somebody just be a total asshole and then they get come up in and they're like, Well, what did you do that for? Oh, there's something over here to look at too. So that's the alley where we're going. This must be the woodcutter shop. Let's go ahead and get this while we're here. Oh. Okay, knock at the door. Anyone hello, hello, hello. Be gone. 
or I'll set me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, come! How? Relax. I hear about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set you stupid much lay down. Come on. Come on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you. Charming creatures. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. You need a family. I was disappointed about on the show. What's left of it? The so, dwarves weren't like they were short, know? but they just got tell like, you about Fabian. little people actors. Like they didn't have like big meaty hands or I, I don't know. I guess logistically, how would you do that? But still, it just felt off for them to be such tough guys when they're just so tiny. Uh, not much about the murder, but they have any enemies. Tell me what you know about the murder in order, in detail. It was like this. I had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Yeah. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast, they're gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. You know they could have folk give bleating orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Mm. They care about some dwarf. Yeah, even the corpse uh, gatherer. It was a bit, a bit of a butt. Did brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to falling one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dishrag. Rather obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. <laughs> know where I can find her, this dishrag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Zephyrus. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Yeah. The dog should be wearing me. Uh, let's see. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Someone dragged something across the floor, or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Statues mm. of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Well, both he and Priscilla definitely had a personality. But what's the common thread? Hmm. Yeah, I've seen that laying around before. There's a sermon from somebody who uh, worships the eternal fire. Oh, good doggy. You don't mind if I take this stuff, do you? No, you don't. How can I get one? Well, I hate when that happens. There's probably a way to angle myself to get that box, but who cares? Hey, can I get in the shop, man? It, try it again. There we go. Prompt him to ask. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... Since they found Fabian. No, he's starting to break down. I'll open it for you if you want. Poor guy. He was holding his own there for a sec. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Oh, jeez, what is that door? It kicked us both through. Okay, what we got here? Good. Humanoid. Completely rotten. Ah, he left his eyes there on the table. Ugh, gross. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Interesting. So, tortured him and took his blood. If 
formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Okay, doesn't trail anywhere though. Oh, in this chair, that's probably what he was bound to. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. He kicked it really Nothing hard trying to escape, maybe. He would have kicked it because he was feeling so much pain. I mean, I... he scooped his eyes out while he was alive and put hot coals in there. That kind of sucks. Already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered. Then tortured. For a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard. He literally just made a pile of sculptures, details. set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Alright, we talked enough. Yeah, Fine, the next we've talked enough. Here. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Alright. I should change the name of today's episode to CSI Novigrad. <laughs> I feel like that's what's taking up most of the episode is the investigation. Like I said though, it's a fun quest. Alright, see if we can get past this guard. Use our Jedi mind trick if we have to. Oi, Witcher! Oh, Oi, Witcher! Well, see. Never mind. Another never mind. victim. Another. Tell me to say the main door will be open for you. You ought to come as soon as you can. That's us. Yeah, guess they're gonna let me check out the alley then. Damn it! Awful pile. Oh, you scared? Is that? Are you a henchman or just some poor asshole? Okay. It's weird. He sounds like a. Usually horse and henchmen will talk to me like, ah, dang it. Oh, man. I've never looked into it. I don't think it is an option, but there's an option to reorder the buttons. Well, I guess if you reordered, it would still be on the same button for both Heavy Punch and Loot All. I hate that, that that's the way it is. So I just hit next, and I just throw a Haymaker. Ooh! Okay, more formaldehyde, so we can definitely say Robin! that. Sis. What? Dave. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. What is happening? Alright, fine. Ow. Oh, this sucks. I couldn't even handle two earlier. Ugh. Right? Ew! What is this? Nova Grad or prison? Okay, here we go. Right? I was gonna say, she's not gonna punch me, is she? That would suck. Here, you're almost done. There we go. There we go. Okay, obviously they think I'm the killer. And they're probably related to the person that just died. God damn it. Oh god, I'm gonna get at my ass kicked again. Well, not again, because I actually made it the last time. I'm getting my ass kicked a little bit, though. <laughs> okay, there we go. If I get one more punch from that guy, I can take him down. Okay. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, throw a big one, buddy. There it is. You're done. Think you'll gut me too, huh? Up your ass, deviant. Holes can fight back. Ugh. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? <laughs> me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. Oh, well, she came around fast. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. 
Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. So the Their bodies were burned long ago. Street urchins and finally upgraded to somebody with you some status. Friends? friends? Nah. That is sad that that's the only way. More than a stupid only way except for somebody to investigate. Treated me with the respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up pouring, pick up a decent trade, but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. Oh, well, she ain't back dead. back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. That's depressing, bye. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Well, Naturally, we'll, hire guys to we'll punch stand me to aside, death. behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Oh man, that time they did not replenish my health. That sucks. Yeah. All right, let's see. A brazier. So this time of year. That was probably used to get those coals going. I man's bet. footprint. The murderers, maybe. Weight on his heel. Took a step back. So I punched him? Human. Priscilla's. Priscilla probably punched him when he approached, but he still got the better of her. That might be what saved her life, though. Maybe somebody heard it. Uh, how do I? A brazier. This time of year? Damn it. Just investigate this. There we I go. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. That's the acid he poured down her throat. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. What we got over here? Another one of those sermons about the eternal fire. Alright, so he's definitely a religious psycho. Uh, let's see. Alright. Head back to the corner. Damn it. Let me out! Of course! Come on, horse. He must have got stuck in the environment. Oh, there he is. I mean, she is. Hey, Roach. Keep forgetting you're a girl. Uh, okay. Hey, uh. I'm gonna talk to this uh, corner, see what he wants. I guess he has more information on the case. Parkour, parkour. Uh, hardcore, parkour. Yep, that was the easiest way to do that for sure. Uh, hardcore, parkour. Welcome, Master Witcher. Thank you. Okay. In the back here, cutting something up. Oh, is he still investigating the same? No, it's a different body. Must be the new victim. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Mm. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Alright, who's the victim? Yeah, Von Gratz told me about Von Gratz told me all about you. Ah... You Doubtless you've heard how prison. I had the noble leader of the student protesters thrown in prison. But did you hear the protests were far from peaceful? Or did he neglect to mention it? I mean, people were dying, wouldn't be Witcher. effective if it was peaceful. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Wait, he was your student? Okay, that's so really weird, because he's way older then than Then I me. left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies, 
Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Uh, yeah, you look a little young. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? Uh, you I look don't know. a little young you to like have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Bullshit. Amusing, is it not? All right, let's start the autopsy. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A Can message from the murderer. The, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? She's pretty yes. high profile. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. So we got three suspects. Till next time, Mark. Unless it's just some Randy. Uh, we have the doctor. But again, that seems unlikely. Because he risked his life to try to help on the case. We have the religious zealot that runs the morgue. Uh, who is also known to, known to enjoy torturing women. And then of course we have that, uh, that doctor that does the autopsies that we just talked to. Who doesn't age? We also know that formaldehyde is poured down the throat to the victim. Both the both the uh, owner and the guy doing the autopsy, they have access to formaldehyde. Uh, what am I doing? Fast travels over here. Uh, so, and then the dwarf's blood was gone. Uh, so. That to me, just knowing what I know about this game, says vampires. And the guy doesn't age, so that's interesting. And they're going to they try to angle it that way, or make you think it's him, or vice versa. Guess we'll find out. Alright. Hopefully, we can get to her before she gets killed. Let me in! What do you want? Jedi Mind Trick, let me in. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Dude, I literally partied here like a week ago. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. Ooh! Snap. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? I just realized I forgot to close the door to the area with the furnace. Probably just been hearing <sighs> this whole time. That sucks. Oh, Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Hey, girl, hey. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. That's not how danger works. Uh, a murderer has marked Patricia. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's Dude, exceptionally just, cruel she? when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe. The sword's all rusted, that sucks. But you appear to be quite serious. It's literally been raining this entire oh. episode, though, so I'm not surprised. I wonder if the a rust goes away when I like uh, Except it's the wrong repair time the year. sword. I mentioned the mother's interesting sad. detail. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A oh my God! Where are we going? We've been Let's to go. Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, but had not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she oh, got to okay. We need to hurry. Spit in the face of the eternal fire. That's not great. The killer's definitely a religious zealot. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hear that? 
Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. Or she's she dead. Can, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Oh, this is... Oh. <laughs> there it is. He... He ran out the other door! Oh, Get God. Him. Asshole. Oh what? No. Nope. Not doing it. Nice try. There he is. He's going through the maze, isn't he? He's gonna go through the damn maze. Wait, where'd he go? What the hell, guys? I'm not gonna be able to catch the killer because everybody's trying to fucking kill me. Uh ah, oh, god, I lost him, didn't I? Let me see if I can use my Witcher sensors to hear somebody. Ah, shit, he's gone. That sucks. Alright, I'll just, I'll just kick your ass then. What? Lost your nerve? This probably is not going to let you look any more innocent, but, uh, you know, whatever. It's something to do until the mission moves along. Oh, come on. Just missed that. Shit, I need to pull out R to give her that shield. There we go. There we go, finally. I didn't have to murder any of their dogs. Halt! Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes! Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> you literally well, brought me up there. How would I have time to... escaped. Lead the way, hero. <laughs> we got him, Lady Ingrid. Maybe the next killer. Easy, but... Or the next victim's name is going to be yourself. on the uh, old man lady. This innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. I don't know. He like disappeared Out around of that my corner. Sight at once. Mother. Why? So did now I know he's crazy her? fast. Why? That also sounds like a vampire. I got bored of pores and beggars. That's probably the reason. Because she blasphemed the eternal fire. Only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. Yeah, I don't blame you. And let her be the last victim. Please. Uh, that, that depends on the writers, but we'll see. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Yeah, he knows he's being Won't get away right this now. time. Now that's interesting though that he would change to say the name and the location. Again, that sounds like the corner. Because the guy who owns the place doesn't want to investigate one of the corner does. And the doctor, of course. So eleventh hour twist, the doctor could still be the vampire, but why would a vampire choose to be old? Or does it work like does other stories where like you just stay the same age as when you're bitten? Who knows? Okay, which is the way out. Oh my god, why did I call my horse here? <laughs> you can't fit through there, Roach. Your ass is too fat. Uh, oh god. Big ass place. Am 
must be nice. What's the hurry? I was watching, uh, there's this British show on Netflix. Uh, it's about Dracula. And of course it's based off a Bram Stoker book. It's actually pretty good, but then it kind of takes a hard left turn at the end of the, I want to say the end of the third episode or the second. I can't remember which. And it's, it's short, kind of like seasons of TV shows are. Uh, I think it's like four or five episodes, like an hour and a half each. Maybe it's four episodes. Uh, but it was interesting. Um, spoilers for the next ten seconds for the middle episode. But essentially, he gets uh, thrown into a coffin and like defeated where he has to rest. And when he wakes up, it's like a hundred and something years later. So basically, it's modern times. And uh, one of his first victims, he goes into the house and... Uh, he goes to kill the wife of the husband that he had already killed and um, she had a cross on her neck so he kind of backed off for a bit and uh, then he was like you guys must be rich but then he was looking at the sink and there were dirty dishes he's like what did you give the maid like the week off and she's like she's like rich he goes yeah this place is a palace and she goes this dump and I just thought it was funny his perspective was you know all the kings and queens and rich counts that he knew and how they live versus how opulently we live now. He considers all of us to be rich kings and queens, which I guess is a good perspective. I think a lot of people do have it good. I mean, some more than others, but if you got all your basic needs met, that's more than a lot of people in history got. I'm especially glad that I like my house now since I can't leave it very often. Uh, wait, do I need to go in here? This is the doctor's office, isn't it? Oh no, this is Cripple Cakes. Oh yeah, this is that brothel. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Sweet Upstairs. Nettie. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Okay, so I'm going to literally disturb them though. Uh, you well, oh, you're actually pretty good at bouncing. Alright, let's go. Oh my god, girl, move your ass. Okay. Ah! Eh. Where? Shit, they're upstairs. Whoops, sorry. Okay, here we go. I think. God damn it, okay. <laughs> Even after the patch, he's hard to move around in tight corridors. Oh, Jesus. Will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though, whole town will hear you in a minute. What an asshole. Yet again, you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. Really? You want to go here? Try it, asshole. Try it, you bastard. <laughs> you bastard. Yeah. Let me show you how that actually feels. Oh, wait. I don't have the right spell. Give me a second to get my spell. And then I'm going to set you on fire. Just, just give it give it a hot second. Okay, here we go. Ah, that's how it feels. Eternal fire. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't much of a critical hit. Well, I guess I didn't have any uh, stamina. That's okay. Burn again. Fuck you. There you go. Whoa! Off the wall, nothing but net. Let me get her loose. You're free now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. He asked if I did everything, and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh. oh God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire. <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. You know, I literally cut his head off. We're good. Ah, now I can't interrogate him though. That was maybe not smart. Oh, I get the poker? Thanks. Okay. 
There's nothing to really investigate. Talk to Dandelion about Priscilla's condition. Okay, yeah, I guess I can see how she's moving after I steal everything in this whole house. Give me your stuff. Don't worry, I'm not going to do like every floor. Just this room. I know, we, we got uh, more pressing matters. Especially since we only got 15 minutes left to solve this damn case. I can't let this go on another episode. Uh, okay. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, God, it's a chest. I'm sorry. It's a candle. Fuck me. Wait, where are the stairs? Why is this place so confusing? Okay, there we go. We got it. You guys literally didn't hear all that shit upstairs? Are you sh Wanna Okay. Dip my dingle. No, no, I gotta focus. Dip my dingle. Uh, hey, hey. Wait, I can't go through here now? Okay. Horse! Come to me, horse. You've got a long journey. Move it! Eat another block of cheese because he did hit me a couple times. Okay. I wish I could go faster in town on a horse. I kind of get why you can't. Wait, no, there we go. Oh, you can't do that here. Well, it let me for a hot second. I forgot where it was. It is still raining. It's been raining for like what three in-game days? Okay, uh, keep going this way. There we go. I'm actually get a haircut later. I like, uh, I don't talk about it very often, but it's a neat mechanic. I like the mechanic where you can, like, shave your beard and it slowly grows back over a period of days like a real beard would. That's kind of cool. Alright, now this is what I was talking about earlier. This hospital being pitiful. No one seems to be here right now, but I distinctly remember this place being like... Okay, that's the other door. Like, just sick people just... Whoa. Oh, well, someone just teleported in. But yeah, sick people just laying around looking pitiful. Like, not even on the beds. I remember them laying on stairs and all kinds of stuff. I'm doing that now, though. Okay, is she in the next room? That's not a door. I should look at the map a little closer. Here's the door. Alright, what's the prognosis, Doc? Yes, Geralt? found the murderer. No, I'm not sure if I found the murderer. He was burning her, but he didn't do any other stuff yet. Uh, these murderers got any suspects? These murders. Got any suspects? No, Geralt. Though all in all, I should have. What do you mean? By virtue of my profession, I know Novigrad's underworld better than oh most. Oh my god, that I fucked up. Dozens of mercenaries, Maybe racketeers, I have killed that guy. bandits, and hired assassins have had their turn on my operating table rogues, one and all, that I believe even they could not kill in this manner. So horribly cruel, yet cold, methodical, with absolute precision. Concluding this overlong explanation, I've no notion who's behind it, but I I do, but I don't think like the game's going to let me investigate further. I think I might have messed up. Hold on, let me Farewell. check the... Mission log and see if I can pick something else. How's better? Are you shitting right. me right now? Y yes. Oh, okay. Did you take care of what I asked? No, say no. Yeah. Damn it. The witch's way. That sucks. Hold on a Thank second. Thank you, Geralt. We're not doing For that. For me and Priscilla. Nope. Did I would? Uh -uh, uh -uh. No, no. no, we're not doing this. We're saves coming. That is lame. Okay. Let's see. Checkpoint. Auto save. Checkpoint. That's when I went in the whorehouse, maybe? Let me see. 42. 
Let's let's load this one up. Uh, only thing that sucks is loading takes forever. Hopefully, it won't take as long as we die. We will see. I'm not letting it end like that. We gotta finish the investigation. Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Felon's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back I've, to health, I've then sent her on her way to some Nova. others just by choosing different things to try to get a different outcome than I have before. But this one, like, it just cut off the whole end of the mission. That's lame. Like, I get it. Like, that guy was being shitty, and I thought it was cool. He was like, come on, you bastard. But, I mean, not at the expense of, like, the rest of the story. I gotta think about that more when I'm making those crucial decisions, I guess. It's funny though, I wonder how many people played this game and just assumed that the Eternal Fire guy was the killer. I really don't think he is. Pretty sure I remember how this one went. Plus all the clues are there. The loss of blood, the fact that what's-his-face lo looked like he was 30 years old for like 60 years. The formaldehyde, which I guess technically the guy from the Eternal Fire would have had that too. But also the dead dwarf. Why would he kill a dwarf? He just tortures women. Okay, here we go. And then I can investigate. Okay, that's good enough. Wait, did I, did I do it? Yeah, I did it. Okay. Hardcore, parkour. Ugh. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Come on. Uh, okay, well, at least we know that that one checkpoint um, was when we first entered the brothel, not when we left it. So we can we can shoot forward a, a couple more minutes, like the trip from the Vagel Buds residence to the uh, but finding to the me brothel. no simple task for having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld. And we get to see the, the cards. Disappear. Yet Geralt the soon discovered game. my whereabouts. A cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too. For indeed, I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer... We never get a look at old man Dandelion, which is a shame. He sounds a lot more chill. He sounds a lot more chill. He disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. I did not know. know. Alright, I think well, hopefully we're going to have just enough time to wrap this, uh, this mission up proper. And not just, uh, so I guess when I go in there, I have to kind of be like, uh, didn't use formaldehyde this time, huh? And then he'll be like, what? And then hopefully that'll let us continue. That's, that's what I'm thinking. I wonder how I resisted the urge to fight him before. Because they really laid it on thick with him being an asshole. All right, almost there. You're free to wander. Da, 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 da. There's some high level. Yeah, no shit. That's why it's cool they have those markers. You have a skull marker. I usually put those over like big monsters that I find that I can't beat because they're too high level. That way I can know I can come back there later. And kick the ass. Which is sweet justice. Okay. I cannot move. Sweet Nettie. Where is she? That's why. Upstate. It was loading in the cutscene. I was like, did the game break? What is happening with life right now? Okay, the stairs are over here. We can go up here a little bit less awkwardly than last time, which is nice. Well, I said less awkwardly. Okay, skip that, because it's disturbing and it sucks. Yet again, you disturbed me. Yeah, whatever, shut up. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like that, no formaldehyde. What? No foreplay, no formaldehyde. Coals in my eye sockets. What the fuck are you on about? There Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <laughs> Bollocks! You're mistaken, vagrant. So who left the letter on Patricia? Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to cripple yeah. Kate's. Because the killer effectively Eddie. framed you. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk calmly. Please let me 
kill him after this, though. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. This is so weird. But one We're man just sitting here talking while she's tied up. That's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day. Uh, no, supplies. we're, we're, we're Tomorrow, fixing this thing. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. Uh, no, you can fuck right off with that. Oh, okay, Jedi mind trick. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. Okay, so... Okay, so she's probably gonna get untied, right? Okay, I'll just assume that happened. Because Jedi mind trick. Where is the fucking door? There it is. stairs oh my god this game sometimes <laughs> here they are okay all right we got four minutes to go and find the real killer i think we can do this i believe in me i'm not going to jump down from the it's second the story world? floor because it'll kill you because it's lethal to do this man who regularly gets smacked around by monsters cannot jump 12 feet When a game gets too real. Faster. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the warehouse near the port. No sense in trying to teleport there. We're close enough. You don't get anything different, I think. So save, saves coming in this case. It's just so we can have a better outcome. Um, I just can't believe they let you end it like that. If you just, you, I, I guess that's kind of the point of those uh, make a decision fast options. It's a clue that things will diverge depending on what you pick. Oh, there's a guy in there running away. Do I need to catch him again. Nope. Run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. I did. Who? Although I didn't put what any vampire oil on my sword. I got time for Vampire? That. Higher, of course. Get ready to die. Good to know this was the work of a monster, not a human. Right. Believe me. Worse things go on in this city than my little spectacles. Far worse. That's also true. Afraid you won't get the chance to tell me about them, because I'm going to kill you. I last fought a witcher two centuries ago. I do hope I remember how it's done. And oh yeah, you, but that Witcher wasn't the MC you though. Faced one of us? Like on the main character, no, you can't. You couldn't have. You not have survived. Oh, he's transforming. Alright, gimme give, give me just a hot second before you go all crazy. What a polite vampire letting me pull out all the stops here. Oh wait, is this a Spectre? Hybrid Android. Oh, I really gotta remember the colors. There it is. And we're gonna drink some black blood. That way, if he tries to drink my blood, it's going to hurt him. And what kind of grenades do we have? Let's just use fire grenades. Nobody likes being set on fire. Uh, grape shot? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm reloaded! Oh, sorry. I thought I had my grenades on me. Ah, shit. Oh, God. Come on, land it. God, that's so hard to land. Oh, fuck, you me. Right. I didn't equip it again. Oh, that menu is so wonky. But I'm not going to blame it on the menu. I just need to get better at working it. Ugh. 
Oh shit, okay, this oh this is bad. Why are all the fights on this episode so close? Why can't I just get better at the game? Eh. Shit, I know it's time to end the stream. Hold on. Uh... Okay, how about a little fire, Scarecrow? Are you shitting me? He's right there! Great, now I'm on fire. There we go. At least he ran into the fire, just like I did. We're both stupid. There it is! Okay, we put on a uh, thunderbolt. This will really piss him off. Shove a couple of crossbow bolts up his butt. Well, I think he might be stunlocked by that fire. What a lame way to cheese it. Oh, there he is. Come here, stupid. You're so, why are you so stupid? Oh, he got some nice jewelry though. That's cool that that comes with him when he transforms. Catacan. All right. Oh, another one of those sermons. Cool. Now that's the end of the mission. We'll uh, we'll check on Priscilla next week. Uh, thanks for those who stopped by. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll uh, we'll see how they enjoy uh, the fact that... Bye!